Hi everyone and welcome back to part two of the duckling tutorial. I hope that you're all doing well and if you have just stumbled upon this video and you haven't done part one but you'd like to start from the beginning I'll make sure to link that down below along with everything that you'll need, all the supplies and whatnot. So yeah, if you're stuck on anything just look in the description, everything will be there. So without further ado let's continue drawing this fuzzy little duckling and see how far we get. Okay, so like I did in the first part, I'm going to start with the HB pencil. Just to start lightly adding in some little fur strokes. I'm just going to call them fur strokes because it is the same technique as fur. Because it's so fuzzy, the feathers haven't really like formed yet. So it's just like little, little bits of like fuzzy fur. So I'm just really lightly going in and starting to build up the texture by doing sort of like varying strokes. I'm doing some shorter, some longer. I'm just trying to make it look as natural as possible. Always watching for the direction that these little fur strokes are going in. My hand is very sore today, I've got quite a big lump on my finger because I've been doing a water tutorial for Patreon and I had to press on quite hard for bits of it so my hand is hurting but thankfully for this drawing you do not need to press on hard at all so it's quite a relief after doing that. But yeah, I'm still doing my sort of like little pointy shapes where they meet in the middle in a bit of a point to create that sort of natural texture. And here, I'm just gonna start bringing some strokes around like this. So it like get a bit shorter around here. So I'm just gonna do teeny tiny little light strokes and then here the carry on going round in this direction it's really good uh, learning to draw in graphite because you can sort of get the basic textures and shapes and stuff without worrying about blending the colours together and making sure that you've chosen the right colour and all that kind of stuff. I found it quite like relaxing and it's a bit of a, re a relief to draw in graphite sometimes. I don't, I don't have to think as much. <laughs> so I'm just following the direction of these little, little fluffy bits. Thank you for the lovely feedback on the first part that I uploaded. I had some really nice comments, so thank you so much. Keeps me going, keeps me motivated. Starts to get a bit lighter sort of around here. So I'm just gonna carry on building it up for now. Might actually sharpen my pencil a bit. There we go, that's better. And I'm just gonna dab the outline on that edge away a little bit so that I can start sort of fluffing it out really lightly. So I'm just concentrating it to that right hand edge right now. Just doing my little like V shapes, my little pointy shapes. Just crossing over all these little curves at the edge. 
and then I'm going to carry on blending some hairs down here quite like how that's looking with it a little bit lighter here but I might just blend a few more through just to add a tiny bit of texture very lightly that's nice okay and then let's carry on bringing some little strokes down here and around here because it does get a little bit lighter sort of around this bit can't seem to get rid of that little little bit there oh well I'm gonna try and like leave some more little white bits in between my little V shapes that I'm making so just carry on building it up but don't fully like colour it all in if that makes sense and if you do go too dark you can always use the eraser to like lift a bit of the pencil off again like here I might just lift a little bit off it's a great thing with graphite it's very easy to lift it off and I'm gonna carry on here Sort of like bringing it round in this slightly curved direction, crossing over all these little strokes that I'm making. And then just bringing it up there. It does get a little bit darker as we sort of like move over here so I'll just use the HB for now and then I'll darken it up soon with a darker pencil. Sort of like doing my little pointy shapes and sort of like shading them in a little bit to add a bit more depth in between the hairs if that makes sense. It's so like as I'm doing these, sort of like shading in between them a little bit. So I just add in a few hairs in between to make it less like blocky looking and more natural. I'm just bringing that round. I just like to do a little bit at a time and gradually work my way around it. So I'm carrying on with my little sort of pointy shapes just kind of do them quite like randomly helps to also go in sort of like a a bit of a diagonal so I'll gradually bring my pencil around in a bit of a curve like that And I'm just going to dab these lines away a tiny bit. And then as I'm starting to bring it down here, where those lines were, it starts to get a bit darker. So 
I am going to start just like shading it in a little bit more from there downwards. Still kind of doing my little pointy shapes though. And add in some shading. Let's add a little bit more so it like softly blend it up a little bit. I'm just going to carry on sort of doing these like clumpier bits and blend that around and I'll just finish off this little bit here and then we'll move on to a darker colour some of these little bits and then carry on just bringing it down there it looks a little bit weird at the minute but once we start to add the darker colours on top well I say darker colours this is me in my coloured pencil sort of frame of mind once we start to add the the darker pencil it'll look a little bit more like it'll come together a bit more right Finish off this bit here, I didn't realise I'd left that. Okay, let's now move on to 4B. So, I'm going to start darkening it up here a little bit. I'm just pressing on a tiny bit harder than I was with the HB. To create a little bit more depth in there, maybe blend it around this way a tad. And then I'm gonna start blending it sort of from the neck and downwards. making sure to follow the direction of the little bits of fur just blending it down there and then I'm going to start adding some around here, it is quite dark here so I'll just blending it in, darkening it up Just open the window because it's really hot. But anyway, yeah, back to this. Just gonna add a few little bits, sort of like coming off the neck a little bit. Might just use the eraser just to soften it up a tad. And then I'm gonna add these little bits. I 
might even just add a little bit more down this middle bit. And then back to this bit, I'm going to carry on, dotting it up. Doing my little sort of pointy V shapes. I'm just gradually working my way around. An airplane. Add a little bit to that left hand edge. Just feathering it out and then concentrating it around here. And define some of these little little V shapes that I've done just to make slightly darker areas between these little clumpy bits and I'm just gonna alternate the direction of the stroke that I make so doing some down some so sort of like across to just try and build up the texture of this bit here. to make it look as natural as possible. And the best way to do that is just to overlap a tiny little bit. Just gonna blend a few more bits around. And I might go back in with the HB and try and like blend it together a little bit more. Just sort of like bringing it together. Making it look nice and soft. I just think by building up the fur texture in this kind of way, it looks a little bit more natural than if you were to just do it in like a straight, straight line kind of thing. I just like to have these little areas where it looks a bit more clumpy sometimes. I want to blend this bit in a tad. Going in here. Bringing it together a bit and if you really wanted to like you could go in with the little Tombow eraser 
and pick out some of these tiny little bits of hair that are sort of like sitting this way in this sort of like downwards direction. make it look a bit more natural. You don't want them to stand out too much, it's just to create a bit of variation. Bit of a natural texture. Right, I think that looks good. I'm going to carry on at bringing the HB pencil down here. So I'm going to just do some little bits coming off the edge just to define where that is for now. And then I'm going to blend some more down from this section. And then there's like a bit of a lighter bit here. So I'm really lightly just going to add some little strokes in the middle. Just to bring it together a bit and then carry on. Bring in some strokes down. I'll just do this little bit here. Just add some little bits to the edge. And then carry on. Bringing it down. And then I'm going to go back to that 4B and I'm just going to start building up a bit more depth where it gets a bit shadowy around here. So I'm just sort of really softly blending it in here because it does look a little bit fluffier and not overly textured. So like blending that out a little bit. Just bringing it up here a tad. And I might just add a bit more definition to this right hand sort of edge of the duckling. 
of the HB. I don't want it to go too dark just yet, so I'm just going to define that edge a little bit more by just building up a few more strokes of the HB there. And just going to add some longer strokes to kind of just like blend it in a bit. Just want to make sure I get a really nice like soft fluffy shape. And I might just add a little bit more to this bottom bit to the edge just to like define it a tad more. Okay, and then I'm going to carry on bringing this HB down the body. I won't go too far down because you won't be able to see. And then I'm going to carry on on this left hand side. Just get rid of them lines. And I'm just going to keep building this up too. Just doing some little bits on the edge just to define it. We've got some ducklings in the garden at the minute that come and like ask for food all the time. <laughs> Once you start feeding them like they just constantly want being fed. They're so cute. Um, I have filmed them a little bit on some of my recent vlogs. At the time this video is going live that is. But yeah, they're so cute. I love ducks. I knew I wanted to do a, a duckling drawing once I saw the ones in the garden. Right, so it gets a bit darker here where the wing is. So I'm just going to map that in so I can see where it's going to go. It's like a little darker chunky bit there. And then bit darker around here. There we go. Just so I can see where it is. Don't they have the cutest little wings? So I'm going to carry on sort of like building up the fluffy texture around that wing. Here it starts to get a little bit more textured and you can sort of see some bits coming down that way, some bits going that way, so I'm just gonna like vary the strokes that I do. So I'm gonna do some coming down. And then do some going across. That's kind of like how you draw feathers. There's a bit more of like a, a feathery appearance around here. It's just like the crossing over of lines in different directions. And start doing some more that way. Just fill in this little gap. And I'm 
just going to blend down from the bottom of the wing just to create a bit of shadow. And then I'm going to use the 4B to then darken it up and add a little bit more definition. Do some lines coming across. Some more down. Just changing it up so that it looks proper natural. And then I'm going to darken up this bit underneath the wing. Then I'm just going to add some more HB here, just to fill in that gap. And then I'm going to add a bit more 4B, coming around like this. Bring some more lines down here. And then I think I'm just going to darken up that shadow even more with the 6B. A little bit under the wing. And then I'm going to add some little bits through here. Then I'm just going to add some more HB to fill in any really light areas. Then I'm just going to carry on adding some more little lines of the HB around here. And then bring in some more down here. Just move you down a teeny tiny bit. There we go, that's better. And back to the HB, I'm going to bring it down a little bit further now that you can see. Just to the bottom. Just bringing it down here. A 
filling in any gaps. Looks a bit weird at the moment, but once we add all the little dark bits, it will come together. I might actually start with the 5B again and just darken it up. Definitely need to darken up this middle bit. Kind of just a case of filling in this middle bit now. Sort of darkening it up along that bottom edge. And bringing it together more here. I'm still not pressing like really, really hard, just enough to get more of a like, to get more depth in there basically. a little bit more over that wing. Darken it up a tad. Right, I might actually go in now with the 6B and start to darken it up even more. like to gradually work my way down from like HB to 4B to 6B. I do skip some of them because I just feel like it's a waste of time and you can get the same look just going a little bit darker. But yeah, just work my way down. Instead of like pressing really hard, I'm trying to get it dark with one of the sort of harder pencils. I just find it easier to just gradually work my way down and darken it up. 
more effort effortlessly. It's a little bit darker at the bottom, so I'm just gonna try and like add a little bit more depth and definition. I'm just using the sharpest point of the pencil and pressing on a little bit harder. need the 8B in a minute. Just adding a little bit more around there. Yes, let's try 8B. I'm going super dark now. I'm going to darken up this bit of the wing. It's getting hot in here now. We're having like a little mini heat wave in the UK. My version of a heat wave is probably just like normal, <laughs> normal temperature for other countries. Let me know where you're from in the comments. I always find it really nice seeing where you're all from. Just gonna like darken it up sort of around this area and the bottom. this middle bit. Right, I'm going to finish off that sort of like back bit. So, using the HB, oh first let's just get rid of some lines. Using the HB I'm just going to carry on sort of extending that fur texture out. It does get a little bit like dark around here. And then it's a bit lighter in the middle, so I'm just going to sort of map in where these little darker bits are. Just there. Then I'm just going to bring it through very lightly. even add a little bit more on this right hand side. I feel like it just needs to be a little bit darker. It's a bit better. Oh, doesn't it look cute and fluffy? 
And then I'm just going to sort of add a bit of definition to that left hand edge. Then I'm just going to finish off this bit. Just doing some really fluffy little bits sticking off the edge. Then back to the 4B, I'm going to start bringing that down here, sort of trying to make it a bit more textured by leaving some lighter bits in between the darker bits. Making sure I'm always using the sharpest bit of the pencil to create that slight bit more of definition. Right, just add a little bit on top. Yeah. And then I'm going to carry on bringing it around here. Sort of like to where this little wing starts, I'm just bringing it up. Like that, I might just add a little bit more here. It's not like the most detailed drawing in the world, but I quite like that sometimes, just to practice like doing fur textures and stuff. I'm going to carry on bringing that down here. And I'm going to add some here, where this little darker bit is that I just mapped in before. right side and a bit more down there And then I'm going to add some more around here, sort of along this left edge. I'm just going to blend a little bit more through here. I'm just going to 
and give you more strokes. So it's like coming from the left to the right. Just to like blend that in a tad more. And I'm gonna do a bit more here. a little bit more there right and a little bit a bit dark a bit there where I've sort of missed it so sort of blend around that tad blend it down a bit Then I'm going to use the 6B and start adding a little bit more depth. to that left hand edge and into this little bit here Might add a little bit more around this neck area. I'm just going to darken up this little sideways line that I did. And I'm going to darken up this little bit here. Then I'm going to use the 8B again and just darken up underneath this wing even more. Around here, 
and I might just finish off by lightening up any of the areas that need it so I might just use my putty eraser and just dab a tiny bit on this light bit just to make it a bit softer and fluffier that's the great thing with graphite you can blend it in a little bit with an eraser just sort of takes the harshness of the lines away a tad then if you need to do anything around here just little dabs And then if you need to take any more little hairs away with the Tombow eraser. You do have to blow the little bits off. Might even just add a tiny bit of 6B just to stop it. Blend it in a tiny bit more. Mm. Might add a little bit more around here. And I think I will leave it there for that part of the tutorial. So I hope you've enjoyed this second part. I think it looks a lot better in real life than it does on the camera, but I think it still looks cute. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye for now.